After being without a grocery store for the past three years, the people of Clifton are banding together to do something about it. Local 12's Anjanette Levy is live with the details on their efforts. Anjanette. Well, Cammie, it's hard to believe, but the doors here at Keller's IGA have been closed since January 2011. But a group of neighbors say they want to buy this building and open a new co-op grocery store they would simply call Clifton Market. This is the grocery store that has been the heart of the neighborhood since I was I was very young. That's why Adam Highland and other Clifton residents want to buy the old Keller's IGA. It closed in 2011, and Highland says the neighborhood hasn't been the same. Clifton is a pedestrian-friendly neighborhood, and not having a grocery store you can walk to with a full-service grocery store that you can walk to has been a real pain point for, for the neighborhood. There was hope Keller's would reopen when the Gessling family bought the building and started renovating it. It seemed like a match made in grosser heaven since the Gesslings owned several IGAs, but the renovation proved too costly. Neighbors mobilized after the Gesslings started shopping the building. I think this is really exciting. It's in the Clifton tradition of taking into our hands whatever we need to do. Marilyn Highland was part of the group that saved the Esquire Theater in the 80s. She says members of the community will be able to buy shares in the Clifton Market for $200 a piece. It's just sort of been overwhelming the, the, the amount of interest in this and the support and people are saying they're, they're willing to buy shares. The Clifton Market will hire a general manager to run the grocery. No membership will be required. Everyone will be welcome to shop at this community-owned store. The store experience will be like any other neighborhood grocery store, like Keller's was, only even better. Now, the Clifton Market Organizing Committee has submitted a contract to buy this building. They hope to start selling those shares this spring, and if all goes as planned, the Clifton Market could open here in this old building in a year to a year and a half. Reporting live from the Gaslight District, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cami, I know you'll keep your eye on it for us, Anjanette. <laughs> Thank you. And we do have more about the market on our website, local12.com. Just click on the red Get It button.